hey lovelies welcome back to another video how are you all doing hope you all are doing amazingly great as always let's say almighty god thank you for another bright beautiful and glorious day so lovelies i'm back again on your beautiful screen in today's video we are going to make an effective super duper air growth rosemary creamy butter to apply daily on your air for effective result to treat all scalp issue or air issue extremely faster so if you are interested to know how to make this simple effective DIY rosemary creamy butter then you know one thing just keep on watching so the first thing i will need i will need my fresh rosemary plant i urge you all please use fresh rosemary plant because it's much more effective okay often time we tend to use the dry one but I prefer the fresh one more but if you have a dry one you are good to go as well but please use fresh one it's much more beneficial okay now I've washed and defed my rosemary plant so I'm just taking away the leaves from those stem as you can see me doing let's talk about rosemary benefit for our scalp and our hair when it comes to our scalp guys rosemary is extremely good in treating our scalp from dandruff irritation if you are having tender scalp if you're having shedding if you're having alopecia if you're having postpartum shedding if you're having badness rosemary is a must it helps in stimulating blood flow into our air for healthy and faster air growth conditions our air minimize shedding and breakage nourishes our air strengthening the air coating coat and also promotes thicker darker and longer air growth faster so after i remove the leaves from the stem here is the amount i got in total is one 50 grams of my rosemary leaves so right now i will go in with my palm put inside my flame then i will transfer my rosemary leaves into my palm like so but make sure as you are doing this step guys your flame must be on the lowest heat as possible so right now i'm going to toast my rosemary leaves the main aim is to bring out the nutrient and also dry out some water in there because rosemary has a lot of water in it as well we are using fresh rosemary leaves leaves so right now let's jump into the oil phase now i will use four different types of oils starting with my peanut oil but you can use any oil of your choice you are good to go if you have only one oil just add you are good to go but in total i added 100 ml of all my oils as you can see right now i'm going in with my soya oil soya oil help is strengthening our air condition the air and promote healthy air growth faster then right now i will go in with my rice oil right oil has a lot of vitamins it has a lot of iron that also help is strengthening our air for healthy air growth i will transfer into my rosemary leaves like so then i will go in with last with my favorite sunflower oil guys you know no, I love me some good sunflower oil. <laughs> so right now we transfer my oil like so into it. But when you are doing this, guys, please make sure your flame is on the lowest it as possible so right now i am going to stir as you can see me doing but make sure you don't allow it to get burnt because you don't want to kill the nutrient from the rosemary leaves the main aim is to make all the oils to bind together with the rosemary leaves to extract all the nutrients from the rosemary and give you all the benefit when it comes to our egg so at this time i've off my flame i will not go in now with my butter face i will need my shea butter i will need 30 grams of my shea butter any butter of your choice just add you are good to go then now i'll go in with my cacao butter i will add 30 gram as well of my cacao butter i will pour into my rosemary oil like so that will not go in with another butter i will need my palm butter so out here if you don't have it the one you have guys just add you are good to proceed then i will not go in with my avocado butter i will need 20 grams of my avocado butter like i said guys add any butter you are good to proceed i will not go in now with my washes okay when it comes to the wash guys it's optional 
if you have it better if you don't have it don't sweat it okay i will need my emulsifying wax and my b wax okay because i want to get a fluffy and a more creamy consistency okay because if you add your wax to your butter it came out more creamy and more more fluffy but if you don't have waxes just add only your butter like so you are good to go so now i off my flame then i'm going to mix everything together because my oil is still hot it helped me to melt my butter without me only my flame so after i still look at how it's looking everything has melt completely so i will take it down allow it to cool down for at least 10 minutes before i will proceed but don't allow it to get cold completely because you want to straight out your liquid from your lips of the rosemary so that i'll go in with my bowl like so that i'll go in with my filter if your filter is not that too tiny that you will need to get a cheese cloth because you don't want any leaves to go into your butter so right now i'll just strain like so into my bone there i will press because you know what you guys there shall be no loss yes <laughs> so i'm just pressing as you can see me do it after i press here is the amount i got in total so now let's jump into the cooling phase oil i will need 10 ml of my coconut oil sorry guys i have serious flu and my nose is just blocked <laughs> So I'm talking with my mouth and say this time I'm breathing with my mouth. So now I will need 10 ml of my castor oil. That I will need my glycerin oil. I will need 10 ml as well. I will transfer it to my butter. Then I'm going to mix everything together like so completely. Make sure you mix allow it to burn completely. I did not preserve this butter because I make sure I there is no water in there. But if you are not sure of your butter, then you have to preserve it. Okay. So now I'm gonna cover it up like so because we're gonna put it in the freezer for up to 30 minutes so before you put inside the freezer guys because now you have covered the the, the butter and the butter is still is still hot so i'll put a little pinch of oils like so so that it can enable it to breathe so right now i'll put inside the freezer for up to 30 minutes the main aim is not to allow it to become much more solidified but just to make it like when you when you whoop it to become more creamy all right so after the thing is guys look at how it's looking look at the video color and there's one thing I I love about rosemary the smell rosemary scent can can take you to another realm <laughs> it smells so so good so right now i'm taking my hand my electric mixer to just mix my butter mix really really well now when it comes to the consistency you are going to whoop until you get that perfect fluffy creamy consistency you are going for so after i whoop for some minutes i will go in with my spatula then i'm going to control it okay because i want my butter to be always fluffy and always creaming so you have to observe if it's enough or you keep on whooping until you get a perfect paste so right now as you can see it looks so creamy but it's not enough and we still have some kind of um, butter steam from under there so i'm still going to scoop again after i scoop i will now go in with the rest of my ingredients right now i will go in with my essential oil you can add any oils of your choice guys you are good to go okay but i will add my curry Thus essential oil. I'm going to add 10, 10 drop each of my essential oil. The over here is my tea tree essential oil. I'm going to add 10 drop as well. But the last but not the least, I will go in with my lavender essential oil. I'm going to add 10 drop as well. Okay, you can preserve yours if you prefer. Okay, but I not preserve mine because I make sure I'm, I, I, I do this butter in a way but it can last for the longest time without preservative. But if you are not sure, I advise you or please preserve it okay i'll put a link down below of you to get the kind of preservative i use on my my recipe so right now after i whoop for a second time look at how it's looking now it feels so creamy as you can see so creamy oh my god and this is love look at the guy look at it look at it oh shit <laughs> <laughs> guys forgive my language looks so fluffy looks so creamy this is how to make a perfect diy creamy butter so right now i will go in with my 
my bag like so then i will transfer my butter into it as you can see me do it at the same time i especially want to appreciate you all for your amazing love and your support your get out here is super duper grateful god bless you all one after the other and if you are new here welcome my name is jenny i'm into air growth tips like this one you are watching right now glance through my channel on my page if you like what you see please give me a fast just up like share subscribe follow is free of charge and god bless you as you do so so right now i will transfer my butter into a clean and sterilized jar make sure any at all your story is clean and it's well sterilized so here is the finished look guys looking so beautiful can be used as a pre pull out or your treatment moisturizer for your tooth and your bread and lastly for all air ties both kids and adults Air. So, guys, today I will be moisturizing my hair using only this rosemary butter. Okay, I'm just dabbing my hair, dam, 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 because I wash my hair and I'll be working with a clean hair. And guys, I always love to wash my hair in section. Yeah, I'll put my hair like so in a big braid. The I will just wash my hair, and it's a lifesaver. One, the first thing I work to it make it minimize amount of shedding and breakage i experience so working in session guys is a must do if your hair is longer than my like, like my own please i urge you all always working in sections right now i'm going with your finger the tangly then i will now go in with my butter okay guys i store my butter inside the fridge all right inside the fridge if you live in a hot hot environment you have to store inside the fridge if you live in a cold environment environment guys you can store in your closet okay so right now i'm gonna take a mask look at how creamy it is guys and uh, again it smells so divine it smells so amazing so what i love that i'll put firstly to the tip of my hair as you can see they're now working down to the rest of my hair and guys lastly don't forget to take some extra butter like like so and put it inside your scalp yes rosemary epi treating our scalp really 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 well so i urge you all when applying this butter takes a um, like so and you focus it into your scalp and you do some good scalp massage because you want to stimulate blood flow into your air into your scalp and that's where air grows start to take place and now i will go in with detangling my air using my white tooth comb to detangle my hair as you can see me doing the after day i will not twist that section out of the way i will not jump into the rest part of my hair you can apply this butter into any style you want to do you are good to go guys it's extremely good if your hair is always breaking and shedding this butter out here will help you minimize it extremely faster if you're having a lot of scalp irritation like inchiness like dandruff just massage guys you are good to go but if your hair is dry guys i urge you all please first of all spray water into your hair or your egg root water before you add this butter into it is extremely important don't add the butter into a dry air no you want to dab your hair first before you add your butter because my hair is still damp so i not put any water into my hair but if your hair is extremely dry please spray water first before adding the butter so right now i will take extra butter i will put all over my hair and i will go into a good scalp massage yes massaging your hair your your scalp with this butter out here is so good it's so therapeutic and lastly i want to put my hair in a bun like so because your hair is going out i'm going out on occasion and this is how i'm rocking my hair oh natural baby we are good to go <laughs> and lastly i'll focus on my hair now if you are having post partout share if you have a shedding from stress from ovulation from menstruation just apply into your airline like so that you massage really really well into your airline and trust me guys you are going to do all you have to do apply little quantity every day to your air for effective results so love with this we come to the end of today's video god bless you for watching if you like it, give me a huge thumbs up help me to share until i will see you in the next one remain blessed and you know what peace bye bye